Ah, it's battle time again. Good thing you've got that trocoflage. Yeah. Does that work? Does that one work? Oh, you know. Right, as, so. as the resident expert on Portman Tanks, I need to know if that one works. How do I take off the suppressor? Load? Don't ask me any control related questions because I'm fucking. The crocodile is in the world. I don't think the crocodile amplifies your emotions, but I do feel like it probably like helps level your shot. You might be right though. If you climb that tree, does something good happen? Can you like get a free backpack or something? Oh, I was bit by a snake! Get out for the, the snake. Did he reload in a cutscene? Like you couldn't be interact with that? Ooh, that was well shot, sir. This time very well. Why is he spinning his guns like an asshole? He has had he has experienced an entire roller coaster of emotions during this boss fight. I know. He's like, oh you dirty! Oh you got me! Excellent! Like, wow, okay. I've never felt attention like oh, this man. before. Let me shoot him. Awesome, Can you like climb up on that ledge and go kick him in the face or something? No, I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to climb on the ledge. Son of a bad. It's weird. It seems like you have good ammo for this situation, but. I mean, I guess the fact that it's a boss fight is meant to just, like, circumvent it. You got a whoop gun. Oh, my stomach is growling. But, like, see my technique? how much does that matter at this exact moment? It matters a lot, actually, because it's making my uh, a accuracy, like, seriously reduced. Where did I get these calorie mates? Such a great thing that I've found. Oh, these are all rotten. Well, I, I, decided, all to rotten. I decided to send you one of those, um... Hunger Games style care packages, where like a thing just descends from the sky. Thanks, bro. That was so nice of you. Yeah, uh, but you better win the fucking Hunger Games for our district, bro. I will do my very best. I'm also gonna kill the snake. So that you can become the snake eater. Snake eater! Hashtag video game type. <laughs> oh no! I'm so sorry, everyone. I love that he. They're laughing at me! Oh, because you put it on? Watch. Oh, no. Oh, wait, is that a coincidence, or...? Because it happened, like, right after you did it. No, I don't think that was a coincidence. It just only does it one time. Oh, knife will not win in a gunfight. I've learned this. You learned that one from Resonance of Fate, right? <laughs> oh, I shot his hat off. You're purple. I'm poisoned? Damn. Don't take your poison. Quickly, use shed skin to cure yourself of your poison problem. Ow, ow, they're shooting at me. Is that Zephyr? Never like it. I never knew reloading could be so thrilling. What does he keep doing? Like, he keeps taking these things into battle that he doesn't understand how they work. That's a great question. I feel like that's the plot of, like, so many, like, competition animes, and the point is always don't do that. Oh, what's he doing? He's trying to relieve some of that incredible tension. Ow, ow, ow! Oh my! I shot a lot. <laughs> Looks like he's in beacon. How do I, how do I become I not poisoned? Do I have to, like... Do you have cure? Cure? Oh, you have a I, leech. I have a leech, is that, is that the thing that's doing no, it? No, I don't think that's doing it. Oh, by the way, um, watching back previous episode, it, something occurred to me that bothered me, which is, like, you have this whole, like, recover from injury system built into the game, and, like, a, a horse, like, stood on your hand. Yeah, we did. That shit would be, like, broken. Like, almost always, right? Like, yeah, like, totally broken. So, like, how, how come you don't surgery that? I gunned him. I was much more successful that time. Yeah, you didn't die multiple times or anything that time. Somehow. Oh, no! Damn it. He found us. Senor B. Oh no! It's Mr. B arms. How do you feel about B arms, Kyle? I feel like B arms are a useful superpower that is also deeply unsettling. 
He's killing them by whacking them by twirling the guns really fast? Yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't you? If you had guns before being attacked by bees, wouldn't that be your first thought? I feel like this game is somehow dumber than the other ones, which is really confusing to me. <laughs> you're happy I think that's Zephyr. I think Zephyr just got killed by bees. I think you're right. Poor Zephyr. R.I.P. I love how he was just standing there and waiting for the bees to cover him and then start to <laughs> Like, I just, I, I'm not sure, I, I can't tell if, like, Hideo Kojima is, like, resistant to, like, understanding how physics works, or if he just, like, can't decide if his world is a cartoon or not. Like, I, I, just, I think it's a little bit of both. Like, I think he just, like... like, he's always had these, like, kind of stupid elements, but I do feel like, like, the only games I have any familiarity with are, like, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3, and then the one that predates Metal Gear Solid 1 to, like, a lesser extent. Right. Um... But, like, it seems like legitimately over the course of the, that, like, trilogy of Metal Gear Solid, like, mm. the games just get, like, dumber and less realistic. Um, and, like, it just, is that intentional? That feels so weird. It's definitely an interesting thought. Uh, alright, so... You got our Snake Age. How do I get rid of all of this? Do I just expose... How can you tell at a glance that they're uh, spoiled? There's li there's flies on them, but it's like not really well sure. so. Tasty. It's a tasty snake. So I'm smoking a cigar now because it allows me to see a little bit. Yeah, I sort of figured that. Um, yeah, it's a little bit darker when you're not doing it. Your eyes do adjust over time. Yeah. Like it gets brighter at, over time. How much cave is there to this cave? There's some cave. This is this is basically that sort of like small ravine. Like this is the cave at the bottom of that ravine that was between the two of you during that gunfight. Is right, that exactly. the idea? Exactly. Are you gonna go like straight boss battle to boss battle? Are you gonna fight like the arms? See that the water, yeah, which I just well, it's because you're wearing the sweet crocodile hat. That gives you crocodile powers. Oh. As if you ate the croc croc fruit. Did I not eat the croc croc fruit? I don't think so. Because you're swimming. Would you eat the croc croc fruit? I would eat literally any fruit from one piece. Really? Yeah, even if it was like an unknown quantity. <laughs> because like, I I have so little value for the ability to swim, and virtually any superpower would be like amazing. So even a fun. really stupid one. What is this? Is, is there literally just nothing here? No, yeah. Cigar while under the water. I bet if you go like literally under the water, it won't work anymore. Oh look, there's a thing here. I got a ration. I believe that's a rat ion, meaning a charged particle uh, with something in common with the genus rat. Mm -hmm. that's right. Yeah. You were like 95% camouflage when you were underwater. Would you be? I, I don't know. I mean, I think that really depends on your definition of camouflage. So I, I guess the camouflage system takes into account the amount of like light relative to where you are. Is that the idea? I believe so. Climb out. Thank you. Use the action button. Scrub board. Oh, you got me. What's this? Mushroom or something? Hey, I got an AK-47 that I had already. Well, you must have dropped it on the dropped way it down I, the canyon. I yeah, yeah. That, that clearly is what happened. Good thing you kept your crocodile hat, though. Yeah, that was cool. Our Mushroom E! Seriously, this is like some, like, Mega Man Battle Network level of, like, weird item truncation. Because, like, the idea in Mega Man Battle Network is that, like, everything is, is meant to have this, like, kind of retro feel with, like, the naming scheme, because everything is, like like, these digital characters in this, like, weird proto-internet world. Right. And so, like, all the, like, names for everything are short as if there's, like, um, like, data size limitations on what you can use, which is, like, the way stuff was in, like, old video games and old computer files and stuff. Right. Um, so, like, there's, like, a stylistic choice there, even though, like, it sometimes makes things, like, completely nonsensically undecipherable. But, like, I have no fucking idea why this game does it. 
because why not? But like also why? So I believe I have no choice but to go back out of the water because I found no way to go forward that way. It's really awesome. I, mean, I would offer you some assistance except A, I don't actually know where you're supposed to go and B, it's like pitch black in here. It's really awesome. Like, even the with the cigar on Wait, do you have night vision goggles of some description? You have, you have, like, infrared or something in the Someone's at the door. Someone's at the door. I think it's probably the door. Your package. Uh, there might be... What do I got? And you got, like, I could, motion I could detect die. You could just die. Uh, I don't think you just have that fucking button. Uh, you have a motion detector and sonar, but I don't think either of those technically do anything. Oh, I can't equip it. I'm gonna unequip... Not all these things. Do you have too many? Do you? What's your weight limit? Is that established? No, I think it's. I think it's a not a weight, but a number, like a number of things. I might be wrong. Well, like it. Uh, I mean, I'm assuming weight because, like, it tells you you have like nine point three kilograms worth of backpack. Mm. And I think if you back out to the previous menu, it tells you how many something else you have on this. Oh, you're right. There is a kilogram list here. It just seems odd for that to be like. It's not un heard of that something like that might be the case, but it seems odd that you would, like, list those weights without it mattering in some way. Cool. Alright, well, no, I do not have, like, uh... It does not seem like you have those. There's goggles. Got this cigar, though. Got a, so. got a cigar. What would Shihan do? Uh, he would have beaten the game by now. Well, that's true. Yeah. He would have done that in. How well, long did it. Did, did we ever actually clock his, like, speed run? No, I'm guessing it's under an hour, though. What do you think is the record for this game? That's a great question. I got a grenade. I found a dead body. That's cool. Can you loot it for more our mushroom beanie? Or could you just get. Oh, like some rats. Did you kill and eat those? Bites. You can also get that mushroom. <laughs> It's really difficult to, like... Hunt for food? Not hunt for food, but, like... It just seems like the the way this game is, like, configured with its, like, third-person, like, kind of top-down view, it seems like it is often difficult to, like, precisely, like, rotate circularly. Yeah. So, like, if you just wanted to stab that mushroom in the corner, like, it's, like, weirdly difficult to do that. So I've managed to find all of the passages to not the way. You're just like hugging the maze wall now. Basically. This is something. We've been here. No. That seems promising. My eyes are adjusting as you can see. What happens if you knife the water? Can you eat that later? I don't think so. Is it literally just an empty room that I can't do anything in? Oh, but is that? It's another whoop go. I got a torch. The, torch. the torch seems useful. Crab battle! Crab battle! Crab battle! Say, it looks like a crab. Oh my god, I'm the best at crab battle. You ever watch that video? That sounds kind of familiar. But I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to. It's literally from this game. Somebody like did a flash animation. Of like snake encountering a crab in a <laughs> in, dark, in a dark tunnel, and he just starts yelling "crab battle, crab battle," and starts knifing. <laughs> it's great. It's I don't think I know that. Can't, you don't need that right now. Indeed. Oh, is it? Oh, I guess it's. Uh, I guess it's. Uh, it's weird because it does. It looks like. It looks like you're right in that. Like it has like a hard number of like things that can go on your hotbar, but it, why then does it... Why does it show you that other stuff? I can see so many things. There are so many crabs! Oh, look! I found the secret passage. I think that's where you came from. No. A thing? Is it not? Yeah, I came from over here. No. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'm, like, burning my, my head right now. A little bit. Don't worry Running about it. Running into the fire. He Don't give worry any about shits. it. Oh god. Oh, crap. That reminds me of Breath of the Wild trying to like light those stupid like blue 
furnace things, and like every time you go to run, you like extinguish your fucking torch. You're yeah. an idiot. That's for fun. Yeah. Oops. Oops. There oh, you go. Got your scope on. What I need to do is I need to crop cap on. That is true. So the uh, the running water of the waterfalls reminds me of uh, yesterday. I, I worked from home so that. I could have some, like, weird inspection thing from the, uh, SoCal Gas Company. Okay. Um, apparently what they do is, like, every couple of years they, like, loop this program where they offer, like, I think mostly, like, apartment buildings? God damn it, I found another room with You did find shit. another useless room, but this one's full of bats. Would you like to have a bat battle? I would have. Uh, Hello, Mr. Mouse. Uh, it's, that one does not seem to have any will to live. Nope. Uh, but so, like, every couple years they apparently, like, cycle through this program offering buildings, like, upgrades on, on certain things to, like, improve efficiency or whatever. And so they, like, replaced all the, like, uh, like, faucet, like, whatever that, like, fixture thing is at the end of the faucets, and also my shower head. They okay. replaced those. And then they also, uh... Is that shit called, like, the weather stripping or something around my, like, front door to, like, keep, you know, air from getting out or whatever? Uh, but I'm really excited because my previous shower head was made entirely of calcium mm. and possibly some amount of rust. So you got a free shower head? I got free shower head, and it works way fucking better than my other shower head. You notice my eyes have improved because now we're in the same place we were before and I can see much better. Uh, so... That's actually kind of weird, because, like, in real life, wouldn't that be somewhat undone by uh, the, lighting the, by torch? the torch? Yeah, yeah absolutely, 100%. It's a nice touch, though. What's that? A nice touch? Would you like a no, nice I touch? No, I would not like a nice touch. What? No. To your face? Nope. Only five dollars. Hey, how much currency does Snake have with it? Uh, none, I think. That's weird. What does he need currency for? I don't know. Bribe the Russians? Now I can see where I'm going. Yes, but the question is, do you know where you're going? No, I think that's the way to the other skeleton guy. Ooh, here's a secret passage. Shh, secret passage. Yeah, you're definitely a little on fire. It's not helping, I can't see anything. Maybe that's because you were like walking along. Frog. frog battle? Frog battle! <laughs> Weird existence you have. You know, I could just walk around spraying the AK-47, that would also let me like, that. I mean, you could do that, except, like, not for super long. Eh. That, them's good eating. That's... What should not we only eat? is we that a rat, weird trophy, crab. but that's a weird time to get that trophy, because you didn't actually eat anything. What should we eat? Eat a crab. Crab eating, crab eating. Hey, this works. Is there any food that he just, like, doesn't like? Yeah, there's definitely foods he doesn't like. It seems the like rotten ones he doesn't like. Well, yeah, but, like, it's rotten food. It seems like every time you have, like, actual food and he eats it, he's, like, stoked. Well, sometimes he'll just be like, meh. Or, like, too salty or something. Hmm. It's really funny to me, because, like, when you've been hunting so far, we've usually had a pretty removed camera angle. Mm -hmm. But, like, when you're, like, right up close to them in this cave, like, the animals just seem, like, so unlifelike. Yeah, I know. Just like it's just like a snake kind of like hanging out there like hiss. I'm a snake. <laughs> I'm a snake. Yeah. Just like hold it like his like tail is like curled around like an old like wily e. coyote sign saying hiss. I'm a snake. There are a lot of dead dudes here. I got some bug juice. Oh, that reminds me. I need. Do you to have any pimp juice? That. Are you afraid of alerting oh. the snake to your gunfire? Yeah, you know. Could happen. How far into the game is that hilarious sequence with the ladder? Uh, pretty far. I thought it was like towards the beginning. No, it's pretty far. It's really hard for me to gauge when things happen because my familiarity with this game is largely from watching our roommate Chihan like speed run it, as right. has previously been mentioned. Oh my God, shotgun. Except it was always he was basically always playing this game on a loop. And so I would lose track of, like, when Where? he had restarted the right. game, and I would just, like, walk in and he'd be doing a section I hadn't seen before. I don't know where I'm going now. I'm pretty sure this is not the way. I was slightly disheartened to find that the cave led to another cave, although that does make some amount of sense. It's kind of promising that there's, like, 
a tunnel with like a different light source. What's this? I got a uniform snow. Is there a uniform snow here? You know, like you do. I hope it's like a like a commander of the night watch uniform. Touch on snow. Yeah, very, very fluffy. <laughs> They've all, and all this food, but it all goes bad before you get a chance to eat it. Well, that's the thing. It doesn't seem like you can really stockpile it, but there's, like, infinite animals in this cave. You know I'm gonna get to a point later where there's, like, no animals around and I'm fucking starving. Yeah. We will never escape from this awful cave. I mean, never is a strong one. We'll be here for literally ever. Literally ever? Literally ever. Okay, hey, look. <laughs> Not that at all. It's time for a boss battle. Oh, where's the hat? Bullshit. Where is the hat? Bullshit. Fuck that noise. Man, the hat would make Wait, every cutscene so Wait, that's weird, though, because, like, doesn't it... I mean, it renders your camo, doesn't it? Yeah, but that's... But the hat isn't camo. The I know, but, equipment. like... It I... doesn't render your equipment, so if you have a, a, an AK equipped, all the cutscenes, he still has his... I mean, I guess I get that because, like, sometimes, well, frequently in the cutscenes, he likes to have his gun and his knife and whatever we nonsense. Are the sons of the boss. Oh. I'm concerned that this man may be allergic to me. Yeah. Because, like, look at, look at his face under that mask. Also, like, I'm inclined to believe... beyond your imagination. I'm inclined to believe that, like, his extra body mass is, is also from, like, swelling from these things. Probably right. Oh, no! Bee bombs! Let's get started. Bee arms! God, his voice is super familiar. I don't recognize the name, but I don't always recognize oh the name. Brother. I don't need this. Oh, right, he uses, like, pheromones or some shit to make the bees attack you, right? right. Something like that? Can you shoot while you're in the water? Uh, I, I don't think so. He's got a Tommy gun? Oh, it sounds like he's got a Tommy gun. Apparently I can shoot while in the water. I got it! Yes. Grenade! Hey. <laughs> so this guy's just straight up an anime character. He announces all of his attacks. Yep. So I don't think you can he wears hurt bees him. as a hat. I don't think you can hurt him while he's covered with bees. Well, obviously. Tommy gun. Can he shoot the hole? He can make a Tommy gun out of bees. I don't think that's how Tommy guns or bees work. No, that's how all of those things work. Look at this big fish. I'm gonna go fishing. Oh, I got it! it feels like a gross misuse of ammunition. Oh, which one could it be? Not that one. Not that one. Um, I don't want to alarm you, but... There's a lot of bees coming at you. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, they exploded somehow. This is how bees work, you guys. You actually damaged him yet? Yeah. Look at his health. I don't. It's hard to see, like, the end of his health bar. He sees me, guys. Damn it. Bees. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't damage him while he is in. He is in B mode. Then why is he ever not in B mode? Because he can attack when he's in B mode. Like, what would be the purpose of not being in B mode? Damn it. And here's a question. Yes. If you could have some sort of, like, weird symbiotic relationship with any one kind of animal, what do you think it would be? Um, dog. I would, I would like to have dog arms. <laughs> dog arms? Yeah, that sounds legit. I'm pretty sure that just means, like, carrying a dog in each hand. <laughs> Which, I mean, you could do that. That sounds like fun. <laughs> Look at the weird reflection of the gun. You have tasted some real thing. Oh, God. <sighs> oh, some sort of smell. Angry bee smell. Hey. 
do you I'm think, fine. Do you think he has taken some damage? Pain. I did it. I don't know what I'm it is, so, but I did it. I'm so confounded by the conceit of this battle. Now he's a Power Ranger. You've heard of the Green Ranger. Now face the B Ranger. Oh snap! I don't think there's ever been a B sword. Although I'm also pretty sure we suck. What is what's happening with his mouth now? They're Africanized bees. Maybe. Yeah. Is this good? I don't know. Is that, did I want that? Oh god. It kind of sounds not good. Yeah, they definitely seem pretty angry. Enough with the parlor! Heal. Can you take any damage over time? I have a bullet bee wound. Oh, you have a bullet bee wound, obviously. Did it say it was eating you? Maybe. I think the description suggested something about it eating you. Well, it's gone now. But isn't the crocodile protecting your head? It should. Really sick. Oh, yeah. It's easier to see the gun reflection now. Before you were sort of being attacked by bees when you pointed it out. Ooh, right in the junk. He's, like, not very good in his life, but, like, also the controls are just so hard that, like, can't do any of the things I want to in the game. You know what? It, it, the boss battles in Metal Gear Solid have always kind of bothered me, and I think I, I think I just figured out why. Why? So, like, traditionally in a video game, when you're, like, doing a boss battle, like, if it's done well, it tends to be an extension of some skill or system you've learned by playing the game up to right, this point. Right, which, which in Metal Gear Solid doesn't do at all. It does, exactly. It's, like, the exact opposite of that, because you're having a direct confrontation with someone. Yep. And, like, the whole point of Metal Gear Solid is, like, not that. Got you so good! So, his face is just like a bee on me. The pain. The pain! He's into some kinky shit. He is. He's definitely. Like, exploding. Do you think the explosion he <laughs> had, like, says pain? Or do you think he said pain after dying somehow? I think he said pain after dying. That's how painful it was. Go to there! I have so many, like, questions about this guy. But my favorite thing that I would like to point out before ending this episode is that fucking dumb look on Snake's face when he dies. He's just sort of like, ugh, bees. <laughs> Shit, I got some bees on me. I should eat some food first. Or should I eat that? Uh, Let's try a rat. Rats, yeah. See, he's got emotions. That's, that was still, like, pretty strongly positive, I think. You think so? It sounded like it to me. Well, where do you go from here? Up this way, I think. Maybe? Probably not this way. Probably the other way, but... You know, we're gonna explore a little bit before the episode is over. Can you, like... During that fight, can you, like, go over and knife him? I might have been able to go up here the whole time. Seems reasonable. Maybe there was something oh, where, like, the bees would stop balls. you. Is that not where you're supposed to be? No, this is where I found the thing before. I gotta do this again. The climb through the thing. Alright, join us next time when we won't be in this part of the cave anymore. You love the cave. Wait, though. Dude, ground type resists electrical attacks. Did <laughs> Cubone teach you nothing? <laughs> he may be a child. He's definitely one of yours. He's oh, like, so when the pain gets killed by Solid Snake, he's my child! <laughs> he's like, like 35 at least.